And an opportunity to say thank you and New Year's wishes. Hello, Nick, how are you? I'm all right, Paul. How are you, mate? All good? Yeah, not bad at all, thank you. How are you going to be celebrating this evening? Have you got anything planned? I've got a bit of a plan up my sleeve that's just come from nowhere because I'm celebrating today. I've had a bit of good news this morning. So, yeah, I'm going to, I'm thinking of a little plan. Yeah, working for an act, but I can't go public yet. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love the intrigue that you've sown the seed of. You wanted to do a couple of thank yous as well, didn't you? Yeah, man. I, I mean, I've, I just, I've been blown away by a few people this year in Shropshire. I'm, I'm from Ludlow and... I want to put a thank you out to everybody who cares. Everybody at Shrewsbury Royal Hospital and people who care in the community. Um, basically, back in March, or back in January, I went to John O'Groats to launch an appeal to raise a million quid to inspire a million kids through his charity project I do for creativity. And, and in March, my mum was taken to Shrewsbury uh, Royal Hospital um, very poorly. We got back on a Saturday with a three-month prognosis. This Saturday, the district nurse came in and said, oh, Mrs. Corston, I know you. Um, I've got a clipping of you on the fridge at home with my two girls from the Shropshire Journal 30 years ago when you taught them painting on a summer play scheme you ran. Wow. And then, uh, and then on the Sunday, God, I, I might lose it a bit. It's a bit stay with me. But, uh, yeah, I will. On the, sun, on the Sunday, a carer called Siobhan Price came in and she said, Mrs. Corston, you taught me uh, sewing on that play scheme. And I realised that the work I do with this charity was actually part of my parents' legacy and, and a classic case. Because my parents weren't artists, they weren't social workers, they were just people doing extraordinary things. And most of our carers in the community, people unpaid or paid as carers, are, are, are thankless heroes. And on the Monday, I went into Church Stretton, St Lawrence's Prime in Church Stretton. Um, I was on with um, Adam Green, actually, on BBC Radio Shropshire Live. We did workshops, we launched rockets. And I said to my mum that night, oh, I'm going to raise this million quid. And bless her, she died the next day. And, and um, Siobhan gave me 50 quid towards that appeal. And I wrote to a few other people locally, people who claimed to be philanthropists, local MPs, and they just, they just looked the other way. And at the end of the day, I believe... It's all about community. It's all about people like Siobhan, people who care and want to make the world a better place. And I can't thank BBC Local Radio. Now, this morning, I was, I was awarded one of London's top 100 Londoners, because I live in Paddington now, for, for the work that not that I've done, that the BBC Local Radio stations across the country have empowered and enabled. But people like Siobhan and people like her from Cornwall to Carlisle, from Coventry, Street, so Cardiff, Liverpool, Leeds, London, Ludlow, people who have helped me and supported me. So thanks to everybody who cares, all my friends, in the world, my family, Peter Corston is still there, Jen and Mark, and my brother Rich and his family, you know, just thank you all for support. Uh, Nick, thank you very much for sharing that. And it means an awful lot. And I know that there'll be some comfort in the fact that this charity legacy and the, the mark that your mum made on the world and that you can carry that on and get the support of local people means so much to so many. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing that story with us, thank Nick. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Happy New Year. Have a good party tonight, whatever the mate, mysterious... Can I, one little, can I leave you with one thing quickly? You can. Um... I think life's still an attitude, and I, I work with a head teacher called Mike Faircraft, and he wrote a book, and he said in that, they're disappointed. It's academically proven we will be happier, and when we're happier, we get up and out of our sofas, away from the TV, we go out and meet people, we do things, and get lucky. So gratitude leads to luck, it leads to happiness, leads to luck. And when, at my mum's celebration of her service, we, we realised that her life was one that was characterised by kindness, by generosity, by gratitude, but most importantly, a love for everything and all. So thank you for all the love. BBC Local Radio making a difference with nothing without you. And thanks for sharing it and being part of it. Thanks, Nick. Have a happy new year, won't you? Happy new year to you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.